Well, first of all, I, we, my wife and I have prayed for every president, and we've just never had the chance to do it in the Oval Office. <laughs> Uh, we, before we went uh, to the Oval Office, we prayed together, my wife and I, and asked that we would have that chance to pray for him. We believe in the power of prayer, and we think this president needs a lot of prayer. Every president does. And so we asked God to give us that opportunity. You spent 20 years in Turkey, and then October 2016, you were taken prisoner. Did you have a sense of what was happening then? We were actually shocked. Uh, we were arrested on our oldest son's birthday, and this was for deportation. Then we were told that we were being arrested because we were a threat to national security. And within a very short time, uh, it became clear to us that this was unusual. We weren't allowed to see a consular official, and we were kept, my wife and I, for 13 days with no contact with the outside. And it just kept extending and extending. So uh, we, we were really shocked because we'd spent 23 years uh, telling people about Jesus in Turkey, we did this very openly and had never had a problem with the police. And, and just for the record, did you ever uh, engage in any kind of spying, help terrorists in any way? Uh, no, our purpose in going to Turkey was to tell people about Jesus Christ. Uh, we did that very openly and we were not involved in anything political. You went to prison, came in for some rough treatment. Well, uh, just being in prison is, is pretty rough. Uh, at the beginning, I was held in solitary confinement for a number of days, and that was very difficult. And the way I survived that was by just spending hours uh, in prayer just to keep, from, keep my sanity. And then I was kept in a uh, cell for eight people, but there were over 20 of us there. So it was very crowded, very, uh, I was very isolated, both by language and by uh, culture, nationality and also by religion. It was uh, all the people I was with were very strong Muslims. They were all arrested as Muslim terrorists as part of the Gulenist uh, movement. And so it was like living in a mosque in many ways. Did you ever feel like you were in physical danger? Uh, not, not at the beginning. I think that as things were added on, uh, for example, saying that I was uh, supporting the PKK, which is a Kurdish terrorist movement, uh, then, of course, many Turks would become more angry. At this point, I'm one of the most uh, hated men in Turkey, probably, because I was accused of spying as well as being part of the attempt to overthrow the government and supporting uh, Kurdish terrorists. Uh, so, uh, and then, of course, when they started to have economic problems after President Trump imposed sanctions, then I was blamed for the change in the economy. Uh, you're hated in Turkey, but Christians here took up your cause. Did you feel that movement? Well, this is one of the very surreal things uh, that uh, we're not known people. We're not very important people. We've been working in Turkey in obscurity, one could say, for a number of years. But then around the world, uh, I think millions of people in many countries uh, were praying for us. And even though uh, this caused us a lot of hurt, I think that God is using this, was planning to use this to bring blessing to Turkey. Now there are millions of people who've prayed for Turkey. And you still love Turkey? We do, yes. Pastor Brunson, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.